Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Real Hood Life series. And as you guys can, bro, why is there always somebody over here with a goddamn dog, bro? But yeah, man. As you guys can see, man, we are here at my house, and uh, we we should be undisturbed. But yeah, man. But today, today's episode, man, we actually got uh, some some schmoo to do, man. This is actually something that you guys have been asking for for a little second. We're gonna go ahead and finally buy us a, uh, a a Crown Victoria, man. We found so we I finally found somebody that's selling one. They got a '99 Crown Victoria. They are selling that guy. We're gonna have to go ahead and make our way to their house to pick it up. So we're gonna have to use the Ram again, which is why we have the trailer over there. Oh damn! Did I just push my damn Audi? What the hell? But I want to go ahead and sell that Charger. So we need to drop that off. And yeah, I kind of want to rearrange the driveway a little bit too. I want to move this. Move this uh, Impala and put this Impala over there. Now we might have to wait on that because I want to put the uh, I want to put the Magnum in the driveway. I don't want it in the road like this. So yeah, but I mean, considering that we're about to go ahead and move the Charger, then I, I guess it doesn't really matter, man. Let's just go ahead and get the Audi out of the way so that we can hook the trailer up with the Ram. Okay, I don't know why V stands opened up, but all right, yeah, we're gonna go ahead. We gotta move this out of the way. So let me just move the Audi out the way real quick so we can go ahead and hook up the Ram. Should I even, I should not move the Audi down this far. I'm gonna put it behind, I'm gonna have to go behind the Magnum for right now. I really wanna put both of these cars in the driveway, so, you know what I'm saying? I gotta free up some space. And we was gonna go ahead and upgrade to the new Hellcat charger, so we're gonna go ahead and sell this guy. A lot of y'all wanted me to do that, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna go ahead and do that. Now let's go ahead and hop on into the Ram. Yeah, you gotta climb in the Ram. You know what I'm saying, man. A lot of y'all actually like this, uh, like this Ram too, which isn't really too much of a surprise, cause I, I was expecting everybody to like this Ram, cause I like this Ram, but damn, chef. So you know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't too much a surprise, too much of a surprise. All right, let's go to get hooked up. There we go. I kind of want to go ahead and do a loop around just so we can have, make sure we had a trailer straight. But I'm gonna go ahead and see if I, you know, use my backing up skills here. All right, let's go ahead and pull up for it right here. All right, so basically this is how we had to do it. Gotta go ahead and make it to where I can load up the charger. All right, let's go ahead and let's get the charger loaded up. Y'all already know, man. I'm gonna have to get my ramps. Let's get the ramps out. You know, I go ahead and do that on the video, man. It doesn't even matter. Let's go ahead and get the ramps out. Especially since I've already been doing this. Really already. Uh, anyway. But all right, so now let's go ahead and get the charger loaded up. Another reason why we're selling the charger is because for some reason the rims kind of messed up. And now I can't really get the rims back right how I had them. That's why they keep changing. So yeah, and as you can see, it just glitched out and changed completely. Now the front wheels don't move at all. So, oh, I can't even steer. Oh, this is not good. This is, yeah, we're definitely selling this guy now. I can't even, I can't even steer. I can slightly steer if I go real slow. Yeah, y'all see this glitching, man. This, this right here, this is why we're gonna go ahead and sell this charger. I can't even really roll it up onto the back of the flatbed, but, all right, you know what, you know, bump it. We just, we just, let's go ahead and get it hooked up. And when, uh, once we get it hooked up, we're gonna go ahead and make our way to go drop this off at Simeon's shop. Cause we're, we're, we're done with this guy. We're, we're done with this. All right, here we go, man. We got it loaded up, ready to be dropped off at its new destination. We'll probably end up buying another one of these chargers later. But for right now, this charger is just, it's glitched out. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and sell it. We're gonna sell it and I'm gonna go ahead and get us another one. So, uh, you know, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. All right, there we go. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make our way to Simeon shop so we can actually, oh wait, before we even do that, we gotta put these, gotta get these cars out of the uh, drive, I mean, out of the road. I don't even know where I should even park these guys. Like, oh wait, we could actually, let's go ahead and move the, uh, let's move the Impala first. Cause I actually got the room to do it now. Yeah, we're gonna do this before we go and put rims on this. We actually gotta put rims on the, um, the Vi uh, Crown Vic too. I actually forgot to say that, so. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that as well. Let me see if I could actually get this guy maneuvered in. Yeah, it won't. It won't be actually. I can, oh damn! Did not mean to tap my other shit. 
And then if we ever want to get the Silverado out, we're going to move both of these cars out of the driveway just to get the Silverado out. So definitely probably won't be buying, uh, driving that truck for a little minute. But all right, it's all good, I guess. Let's go ahead and grab. I guess what I'll do is I'll go to put the Magnum in. We've been driving the Magnum, so I'll put the Magnum in. We'll drive the Audi a little bit more. So let me go ahead and I'm going to back the Magnum in real quick. I just forgot one more thing. When they're, you know, whenever trying to get the gate closed, I always got to make sure I got some room back here. I'll do it later. I ain't really too worried about it because it's going it's gonna to cheese a little bit. That's just something that we can't really we can't really do much about it, so got to deal with it. All right, let's go ahead and get the Audi into the driveway now. Oh, yeah, I did put the Pull Me Over mod back in because I think it got updated. So we're going to go ahead and see if maybe the Pull Me Over mod uh, works uh, correctly now because I really do miss that mod. But, yeah, y'all yeah, about to see what I... Oh, wait, actually, I don't think the Audi... Oh, yeah, the Audi's not long enough. All right. The Audi's not long enough and the Magnum is actually short enough. All right, so now we got both of these cars in the driveway. Let's go ahead and go drop this charger off so that we can go ahead and go pick up our new Crown Vic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I already know. You guys have been waiting to get a Crown Vic for a minute, so we're going to go ahead and definitely get this Crown Vic, put some rims on it in this episode. I know you guys are going to definitely like this episode because y'all been waiting. Y'all been waiting on the Crown Vic for a little minute. Bruh, everybody on the block down here just be talking so much shit. Jesus. Alright, y'all already know we're going this way. Go with the speed bumps. Oh, damn. We get some glitching back there? I'm guessing that's because of how the, uh, the wheels on the charger are. We're getting a little bit of glitching back there. I don't know. I'm guessing that's what's going on. But yeah, man. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this episode. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to possibly try to do a little bit of trapping. You guys actually have been enjoying the trapping episodes a lot recently. And I'm actually starting to get to the point where there's a lot of people that actually say they only come to the channel to watch some of those trapping episodes, which is actually very surprising because at first, it wasn't that many of you guys who actually enjoyed those videos. But it started to grow. Like, I started to see the amount of people who actually started to like those trapping episodes. Mainly because everybody would like... Everybody would always ask for uh, food truck trapping episodes, and that, that's what really made me start doing a lot more trapping, because a lot more people started to like those food truck trapping episodes. Showed me that, you know, trapping was something that more people definitely wanted to see, so definitely had to make sure that I showed you guys. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's why I started to do a lot more trapping. Plus, I told you guys I wanted to take this episode a little bit slower. I did not mean to do all of that. So, you know what I'm saying? We're taking our time doing a lot more trapping. And on top of that, man, on top of that, a lot of you guys did give a good response on the beach house from last episode. Most of y'all want us to get it, but, you know, some of y'all actually remember that we are kind of low on funds and we can't really buy it. We'd have to rent that guy if we were to get it. So, yeah, we're probably going to have to see about that. But, yeah, as of right now, we're going to hold off, but we're definitely going to be getting it because everybody did want us to go ahead and grab that. So, yeah, we're going to we're gonna have to go ahead and take another visit Uh down there to the beach house to go look at that all right let's go to back on up we have made it to Simeon shop there we go all right so let's go ahead and get unloaded Man, I'm sorry oh damn I did not mean to do that but let's go to get unloaded and uh yeah so we can go to make our way to go pick up this crown vet because what we'll do is we'll pick up the crown v oh damn oh damn that's not good that right there is not good that means that there may be some glitching that's about to happen um yeah hopefully hopefully we're good hopefully we're good but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get this guy unloaded we probably won't even be able to like drive it anywhere because as y'all saw we can't even steer it so yeah we probably just gonna leave it right there and take the cash for it but yeah let's go ahead and get it unloaded and let's make this happen all right man we are detached oh damn what kind of rag dollar was that but we are detached oh oh and they're gonna major glitching right there all right let's just roll it off Oh, we could. Oh, we could steer a little bit. Maybe it was the ground that we were on back there. I don't know. We could steer a little bit. Oh well, we just can't steer forward. What the hell is up with that? Oh, and all right, there we go. I'm gonna leave it right here. I'm. I'm just gonna leave it right 
there. We ain't even finna worry about it no more. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we'll go ahead and get paid about. You know, I, I guess we'll go ahead and pay ourselves thirty thousand for that charger. Uh, we'll just pretend like it still had the 4Gs on there when we sold it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, so that's 20, 30. So we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to get some more uh, rims. Oh, I just realized I didn't even do what I was supposed to do here. But we're gonna have to get some more rims on the the new charger that we're gonna get because we're actually gonna get that Hellcat charger, or we're gonna get a Hellcat charger. And you know, most of y'all already knew that if you watched the stream. So we're gonna have to definitely go ahead and make sure we do that. All right, now let's go ahead and make our way to go pick up this Crown Vic now. We can finally go ahead and do this, man. We're buying it from a dude over here. And surprisingly, he only want 10000 for it. He don't even really want too much. So, you know what I'm saying? We're getting it for a good little price. And uh, definitely cheaper than the Charger. So, it, 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 in my opinion, it's a win-win. In my opinion, it's a win-win getting this Crown Vic right here. And we may actually, we may have to drop the uh, ram off at the house after we pick up this Crown Vic. So that we can go ahead and make sure we can drive the Crown Vic. So yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. We're going to have to drop the ram back off at the house. And then unload the Vic. So that way we don't leave our ram at anybody else's house. And as you guys can see, my cops are still glitched. So I'm just going to restart my mods folder. I ain't even really too worried about it no more. I'm just going to redo my entire folder and call it a day because I, I thought it would have been fixed i may have to replace the actual uh the, the cops on the beat part i think that's what i need to replace and fix so i'm gonna try that see if that'll work if that'll fix it then we're good if not then i'll just restart my mods folder something that i've been procrastinating for a while i'm gonna go ahead and try and get lspdfr to work too it's another thing i want to go ahead and work on because i i really want to play lspdfr again it's been way too long since I played LSPDFR. Like, I'm damn near almost a year. I don't even know why I stopped playing it, to be real. I just stopped playing it. But yeah, man. All right, so here we go. Pulling up to uh, Buddy's house. I could actually see the Vic right there. As y'all can see, man. Y'all see that white 99 Vic that we're actually getting? Now, he actually got a, a GXP. Okay. I wonder what he's at. What, what this dude is actually gonna be buying after, after we get this Vic off of him. All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do that. Let's go ahead and drop my ramps. I don't know what that dude was getting mad about, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and drop my ramps so that we can go ahead and uh, load up. Y'all already know, man. So here's where we buying the Crown Vic from. Let me go ahead and show y'all that. So here's the Crown Vic. You know, pretty nice, man. Pretty nice. Definitely finna go ahead and put this up on some rims. I don't even know how big of rims we're gonna go, but... Ooh, look at this. This G8 GXP. I mean, not G8, but this uh, this Grand Prix. I said G8. Why did I say G8? This Grand Prix. That's what this is, man. Look, we, we came for this guy. This is what we came for right here. Let's go ahead. We're gonna take this guy home with us. Gotta make sure I drop the 10k off before we dip. Yeah, we're gonna have to drive this guy to uh we're gonna have to drive this guy to our shop so we can put the rims on it. Let's go ahead and just get this guy loaded up. There we go. Alright, load it up. Now all we gotta do is get attached. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, strap her down and uh, we're gonna get ready. All right, man, we got it loaded up and strapped down and somebody decided to hit me while we was doing that. But let's go ahead and drop the 10K off real quick before we dip. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and drop this off. Here we go. Come on, come on, there we go, 10K. All right, so now that that's done, we now have the Crown Vic. That's now our whip. Let's go ahead and take that guy. We're going to go ahead and get some rims put on here like now. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go put some rims on here and do a little trapping. And do a little trapping. I didn't think we was going to have enough time for some trapping, but we actually might have time for some trapping. So we're going to go ahead and do some trapping. All right. Let's go ahead and hop on into the ram. And we're going to make our way back to the house so we can drop the ram off. I don't want to leave my ram out here. You know what I'm saying? can't leave my ram out on the block that's why we ain't drive over here to pick up this crown vic we had to we had to come you know what i'm saying we had to come tow this guy all right so we're gonna go to make our way back to the house now 
And uh, we're gonna we're gonna be done. Well, we're, no, actually, we're gonna be done with the ram. Still gotta put rims on the Vic. Let's just go to make my way, man. Let's go to make the way. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy this episode, nonetheless, man. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. You know what I'm saying? I know you guys have been waiting on an episode with the Vic, with a Crown Vic for a while. So uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I know for a fact y'all gonna be flocking to this episode. This episode might end up getting a ton of views the first day, for sure. Especially since it's going up today on a Saturday. That's another thing. I know for a fact this going this video is gonna probably do numbers. I've been dropping some bangers lately. You know what I'm saying? Oh damn! What the fuck was that? This truck definitely uh, likes to do its hops. I ain't even gonna lie about that. Oh boy, I was about to turn right behind him. Gonna take us a little second before we get back to the house. I thought we was closer to the house. But okay, all right. Come on, bro. I am not trying to sit at no light, bro. Oh damn, what the hell? Everybody just turned their lights on at one time. That was kind of fire. Yeah, you already know, man. We we can't. Oh wow! See, every time it's like every time I skip the light, that's when it turns green. It wants to stay red while we're sitting there, but as soon as we want to skip it and go around it, that's when it turns to green every single time. All right, man. We're about to be pulling up to the house. I actually seen my cars. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. There was no avoiding that. But I see my car as a market pop up, so we're gonna have to make sure we go around the right way. So that we can go ahead and, uh, you know what I'm saying? We could just unload it. Well, damn. We just go ahead and unload the crown fit. We're actually on the right street for it, too. All right, but definitely let me know what y'all think about this. We're going to see what uh, rims we're going to go ahead and put on this crown Vic in a second. Oh, God damn. My nose got a little itchy right there for a second. I don't know what the hell that was. All right, yeah, we're going to get on the curb a little bit. All right, we're gonna drop. I'm gonna drop the ram off like just like this, right here. Or should I? Yeah, I'll do it like right here. It's just gonna be difficult. We we ain't gonna be able to park the Crown Vic in the yard once we get back. So, well, actually, we will, cause I just have somebody come and pick this trailer up, and we'll unhook. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get the ramps. Let's get the ramps pulled out, and we're gonna go ahead and get this guy unloaded. I'm gonna go. I'm actually. Oh damn! Did not mean to do that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and change my game time too, because it's actually getting pretty dark. So yeah, I'm gonna do that as well. Alrighty, man. Here we go. We are inside of the Vic. I actually had a little bit of glitching happen, but not too much. Let's go ahead and get the Vic unloaded. Alright, I'm gonna just pull it up front up here. I wanna go ahead and get the. Uh, I wanna get the Ram disconnected from the trailer and stuff, so we can go ahead and leave that. So let me go ahead. Let me lift them ramps up, cause we're gonna have somebody else come and get this guy. I'm not even gonna. Uh, we're not even gonna leave it here. Actually, if we do leave it here, either some somebody should come and pick it up. Somebody should come and pick it up. Oh damn, that's the door unlocked. But somebody should come and pick it up. I'm about to just still unhook the ram from it. Let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and move it back a little bit. We'll move it back to like right here. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the ram. We're gonna park the ram right here. That's how we're gonna do that. All right, so let's go ahead and go put some rims on this Crown Vic now. We're basically done with all that, man. All that work to pick up this damn car. All right, now let's go ahead and make our way to our shop so we can put some rims on. And we're basically gonna be done because, uh, well, actually, no, no. We're gonna do some, we're gonna do a little bit of trapping. So you know what I'm saying? We definitely gonna do a little trap and pop up on a couple plugs, see if we can find some plugs with something. Definitely wanna try and make some money this episode. I mean, considering that we, we made 20,000 from selling the charger, but I mean, you wanna you want make some more. I wanna make some more. I wanna see if we can probably get some cocaine and then probably go to our uh, trap spot around the corner right here. And we'll probably drop off some, uh, some more crack, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so let's just go ahead and make this happen though so we can 
continue on. Let's see what kind of rims we're gonna throw on here and all that good stuff. I know you guys are gonna enjoy this. And more than likely, you guys are gonna like the rims that I put on here too. I don't even know what rims I'm gonna put on, but I, I know I know you guys are gonna like it. And I know it's gonna be some clean shit. Yeah, somebody just pulled in here. And we need to get some workers for the shop. Ain't nobody even pulled in. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna make this happen. I'm probably gonna leave the Vic white too. Might not even change it. All right, but let's go ahead and go to our mod menu here. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make this happen. So let me see, we're gonna go to sport. All right, so there we go. So here's one. These actually look like some rims that somebody will throw on the Crown Vic too. Is the brake calibers kind of interfering? Yep, they are a little bit. That's all good. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, these ain't too bad. See, man, the Crown Vic about to look good with almost any of these. So we're probably going to have to, uh, we're, we're more than likely going to be changing the rims on this Vic more than once. I think those are the rims that we went. Yeah, we put these, we put them rims on the uh, Magnum. Definitely not going with those guys since we did that. Boy, oh boy. I already see some rims that we could throw on here. Like these ain't too bad. We're gonna have to hit the car wash up too. All right, so uh, yeah, the rims in sport. There's a couple of good suggestions. I really wanna go with these right here. So number six is in sport are my first choices. Let's see about these 20 rims. We'll probably pass on these 20 rims. Y'all know, man, we got the, these the older rims that we already had in the game. We'll probably pass on them guys. Just because, you know, I kind of want to use the newer rims. I think these are the same too, these high end rims. Yeah, them high end rims are really all the same. I believe that's it. I know I got some. Yeah, see, we got some. I forgot what they called them. But yeah, you guys have been waiting on that too. Definitely going to be putting those on on the car. I don't know what car yet, but we're going to put them on the A car. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to end up throwing on those rims that I wanted to throw on. So, it's in sport. Number six. Right here, man. Just so we can keep the black rims type of thing. And I'm leaving the Crown Vic white. So, you know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and uh, let's up the size. Uh, let's see how big can we go. This looks like a decent size right here to be real. Looks like it's uh yeah that's that's pretty good right there. Let's go to bring the tire above the ground. So that's 42 to bring it above the ground. 42. Now let's raise the ride height. Alright. Yeah, so we got the Vic. I'd say these are probably some 20 foes, maybe. Maybe, possibly. That's what they kind of look like. They don't look too big. So, you know what I'm saying? I guess we could I guess we could say, you know, we can go with 20 folds. Widen up the tires a little bit. Alright. There we go. We now have our crown vic done. I just seen a little bit of glitching, so I may have to go down in the wheel size just a little bit. Probably just one size. But let's go ahead and hit up this car wash real quick and then we're gonna pull up on some plugs. I'm gonna need to put the performance parts in here too because we need some speed with this. This ain't got no type of speed. But yeah, definitely let me know what y'all think about the Crown Vic. Let me know what y'all think about it. Let me know what the rim let me know what y'all think about the rims that we went ahead and threw on. Yeah, we see we got a little bit of wheel glitching. It's not too much though. I leave it. I'm gonna leave it alone for right now. I ain't worried about it. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. We'll, we'll leave it alone for right now. It ain't too bad. It could be worse. It could be worse. All right, so we gotta hit this car wash up because uh, this guy is pretty dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop a save real quick. Let's go ahead and come on now, wash my car. Wash my car and while we're getting the car wash, I'm gonna add all the performance parts and make the suspension stock height. There we go, that's how we're gonna do that, man. That's how we're going to do that, man. 
So hopefully this comes out looking clean with that new wash. And we're going to pop up on a couple plugs. And we're going to see if we can make us some cash. See if we can make us some more money, man. But damn, why is it so low in the front? Like, I, I restored the height. But it's it's super damn low. Oh, wait. I know why. After I do all the parts, I got to redo. I got to redo the V-stands. I forgot. Yeah, see? Yeah, there we go. All right, so we got all the performance parts on there now with, you know, with the V-stand stuff. So you see, yeah, you can hit that juice now. All right, so let's go ahead and go to this plug right here since he's already, you know, right here around the corner. All right, so let's go to see what this dude has. Hopefully he got something because I'm trying to make some money, you know what I'm saying? We just did all this spending. Time to do some making. Oh, look at that. That's what we're talking about. We got some cocaine and we can go ahead and take it to the trap spot. All right, we're gonna go to take that cocaine. We're gonna take this hash. Uh, we got that meth right there. That we can go ahead and take meth and mushrooms. Let's go ahead and take the meth and the mushrooms. All right, we'll basically be done there. See, I don't know why they keep taking off every time, but whatever, okay, whatever. All right, um, let's go ahead and see. Uh, see, I will go down there by our house. But then we'll be far away from these other plugs. So we're just going to go to the other plugs and we'll skip out on the plug that's by our house. We'll go to him another time. All right. So y'all definitely got to let me know what y'all think about the Crown Vic. Now with these new 24s on here. Yeah, these are definitely fours, man. I would have said these were sixes, but these are definitely fours. They just don't have the size of, you know, of sixes. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're more fours. They're more fours than anything. I mean, still look good, though. Still look goddamn good. I don't give a damn with nobody's shake. Still look goddamn good. Oh, yeah. See, we can get up to some speed, too. We can get some speed with this guy. See, once we put all them performance parts on here, we could actually get up to speed. That's, that's funny. All right. So, yeah. Yeah, we, we did good with this Vic. We did good with this. I'm gonna be changing up the rims uh, every now and again too. That'll probably be one of the first and only cars that we're really gonna be changing up the rims on. There might be some other cars that we'll probably change up the rims on too. All right, if we need to go ahead and sell something because we won't be able to really hold nothing else. So we got some more cocaine right here that we can get. See, now we're full and I wanna take this heroin, so. We got the sales. Let's go to sell the meth. I guess we can make a profit off that. Probably won't be too much, but we can make something off of it. Uh, I want to take that MDMA too. So let's take this and let's take the MDMA. We're going to take the heroin and the MDMA. And we got five spots left. We'll take some mushrooms. All right, hopefully this next plug is taking some things because, boy, we ain't got no more room for nothing. All we can really do is sell now. We can't, we can't really buy anything. We got to sell. So hopefully we can find us a plug that's trying to buy. All right, why won't my speedometer and stuff pop up now? Hold up. I don't know why. Speedometer and stuff just won't pop up. We're going to need that. Okay, I got half a tank of gas. Oh, boy, I dodged him just barely. Boy, Nuke, I'm getting better with the driving skills, man. All right, here we go, man. 0.3 miles until we reach this plug over here. All right, here we go. Let's go and see what this dude has. Or not see what he has, see what he's taking. Because we need to go ahead and... We need to make some monies. Nah, for real though, we need to make some money, man. Really, we just need to get rid of some of the stuff that we have on us. I really don't want to, you know what I'm saying, be riding around with all this. It's the easy way to lose all your money. Oh boy, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This dude's taking everything for a good price. It's going to sell all the hash, all the heroin, and all the MDMA to this dude right here. All the hash right there just made a profit. All the heroin just made a profit. All the MDMA profit. And we're going to make a profit off this weed too. We can make a profit off the cocaine, uh, but I think it's it's kind of more of a pro. Oh damn, I knocked that lady down. <laughs> it should call me a dick after I knocked her down. That's funny. But yeah, um, 
Yeah, we'll go ahead and take the cocaine to our trap spot. So, because we will really make more money out of there. It's like almost every day out of the trap spot, we're going to make like $22,000 as long as we keep it stocked with cocaine or, well, crack. So, Jeff, we're going to make sure we do that. We're going to keep it stocked up. Got half a mile until we reach this next plug down here. Definitely gonna go ahead and do this, man. Oh yeah, look at that, man. She getting around to everybody. We getting around to everybody. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Let me just keep on going. All right, so let's go see what this plug right here has. The whole, cause now we can actually take some things. That last plug had everything for a high price. So if we find some more cocaine, we can take it back to that dude. I mean, not cocaine, the heroin and stuff. And he's really taking everything at the highest market price. So, yeah, we got us a plug that we can really sell everything to. Oh, look, we got some more cocaine that we can take to the spot. Uh, we got some heroin right here. 13 bags of heroin for $800. That's like double the profit over at that dude. So we can go ahead and do that. We can take this MDMA. It's going to be like 140, 150-ish profit from that. Uh, I think there's a profit on the tranquilizers too, so we'll go ahead and take that. We're just gonna go ahead and make our way back to the last dude, and that'll be basically it, because we'll be the made some good money, and then we're gonna go back to the trap spot. Good money, man, good money. We're just making some good money today. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. I know, I, I know these episodes kind of, to me, they kind of seem the same, and well, not re not really the same, but that's not really the word I wanted to look for, but. To, to me, these episodes kind of seem like there's really nothing different, but it's actually showing on YouTube that you guys have really been enjoying the new season a lot more than the last season. Like, the new season has a, a way higher view duration than the last season. Like, last season had an average of, I think it was about five minutes. I want to say five to six minutes was, like, the average view duration. And now it's like we're up to seven, eight minutes. It's like, okay, all right, all right, I can dig it. Might not seem like a huge change, but, you know, if you, if you actually do YouTube, you'll know how big of a change a one to two minute view duration in a matter of like a week. You, you'll know how much of a change that is. That shows that, you know what I'm saying, more people are spending more time on your channel. And it's like to go up a full minute to two minutes in a short period of time like that fast and you know, you, I, I slick with you, you think that it was like a fluke type of thing. Like, oh, it's just a couple videos that's doing good. Like, no, nah, not just about every video that I've been dropping for the past week or so has been doing pretty good, man. I want to, I want to thank you guys for that, man. You know what I'm saying, man? You guys have really been. I mean, I, I get a little bit more motivation from you know wanting to post and stuff whenever I see that type of stuff, which is really why I keep posting, even though I, I don't really be in the mood to post half the time. I get the motivation to post just because of uh, just, just just because of the growth and stuff that the channel gets. It's, it's like it's just, it's just crazy, man. But we got all this cocaine right here that we can go ahead and take. We technically we're losing money by trapping every day like this because the the trap spot doesn't make as much money back as we be putting into it. So what we're gonna do is probably not stock the trap spot up anymore, and we'll start selling our cocaine. So we can go ahead and keep the profit up because we're back down to like $50,000 and that's low as shit. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to have to let that trap spot stack up its money and make us some more money. And we're going to start taking on some more uh, legal jobs to try to make us some more legal money. I mean, technically we're making money. It's just we're making more overtime money. As in, like, it's going to take more time to make this money back than it, you know, than it being basically instant like how it is. Or how it was, but we're gonna go ahead and get some gas real quick. I can't even see which side the gas tank is on, so we'll just go ahead and fill up. Let's go ahead and fill the tank up, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it just froze for a second. It just said I, I don't get it. It just said I signed into Social Club, and then it said I signed out at the same time. That's not making any sense. But I'm telling you, bro, this Crown Vic actually got some decent, you know, a decent amount of juice, bro. Like, it, it could actually spin them tires, bro. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, man, pulling up to the trot spot here. I think we got some money waiting on us over here at the trot spot anyway. So we're going to go ahead and see. 
Is this the plug? This man's been running this whole time? Where is he even running to? <laughs> oh man, that's too funny. That is too funny. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's just see. Let's go up in the trap spot. Let's make this sell. I mean, not sell. Let's go ahead and stock up my spot. What's good, bro? Actually, I just realized once we get 100K, we could really go and do the uh, the transport jobs. So we're going to definitely do that, too. And we got 44. So we definitely have more. So we have 44,000 sitting here. So technically, we didn't lose no money. Like this episode, we didn't really lose. We didn't lose, spend, or make any money. We just basically just shuffled drugs. It is 19,712 crack in our trap spot now. So I'm going to stop stacking it up now. We don't really need to put no more in there. We just need to just pick up money every now and again. That's really all we got to do now is just keep, uh, you know, going back and picking up money. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take the Crown Vic back to the house. Right. So with that being said, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links are in the description down below. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of contemplating on if I should go ahead and record a second video, like, right now, before I take a little break, so that I don't really feel like I'm forcing myself to do anything, because I'm in the mood to actually make videos right now. But I want to get this video up ASAP, so, ah, uh, I don't know. Oh, the trailer's still here, too. Uh, I'll probably just, I may go ahead and just record. I, I may just go ahead and upload this video so, to, so it can get up. So, uh, hopefully I'm still in the mood to record another video. But if you guys don't get a second video today, then you know why, man. You know why. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I will catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace on out.